The Enico State Ministry of Health on Friday confirmed that 72 healthcare workers in the state had tested positive for COVID-19. Eight members of staff of the Federal Medical Center, FMC Abiyokuta Ogun State, were similarly infected, according to the authorities of the institution. The Enugu State Health Commissioner Ikechuku Obi said in Enugu that the 72 health workers were among a total of 202 that have tested positive in the state. And in Enugu State, in Ogun State, eight members of staff of the Federal Medical Center Abiyokuta also tested positive for the virus. The health Public Relations and Information of the FMC, Shegun Orisajo, said the affected staff included doctors, nurses, and administrative staff. Joining us now is a journalist based in Edugu State, Kunle Banjoko. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Could you bring us up to speed on this uh, disturbing report about uh, health uh, workers uh, testing positive for COVID-19 in Enugu? Now, like you earlier stated, on Friday, the State Ministry of Health, through the Commissioner, Emmanuel Odi, reported that the state has now had 72 confirmed cases of health workers. Before then, there were reports that the cases were those at the Federal Medical Hospital, that is orthopedic, that was when a nurse was confirmed to be positive for COVID-19. But with ourselves, there was, a, there was an information that other people, that is the cleaners, the cleric officers, they were with the nurse when later tested positive. As it stands now in Enugu State, the, the only testing center we have here is the UNTH, while the other functional hospitals like this, that is, uh, that is the, the state medical hospital, that is the park lane, and the, uh, are working at optimal level, why that of the orthopedic is no longer as it stands. Operation of receiving treatment at the national facility level is at the skeletal level. We only have power claim, that is the state station hospital, as the only functional hospital, where we also recorded some ex workers uh, tested positive for the virus. Any idea of what could be responsible for this uh, spike in numbers for health workers? Could it be the PPE that is being complained about, the limited number of it exposing these uh, health workers to the infection? Yes, because a few days ago, the state resident doctors talked to us journalists on how they need PPE to support the operation. There's no doubt that this part of the world, as uh, the presidential task force did say, that there is this disbelief that COVID exists. So pe some people are still doing the old thing. So that's why uh, it's been said that the, the uh, is on the rise now. So that's why the medical personnel are apprehensive. They've called on the state government, the federal government, to come quickly to their head. Because at this time, the numbers are increasing by the day. And people to as uh, even with all the plans and programs of the state government in ensuring that people get aware of what this virus is and what people they just believe that it is the government thing and uh, this uh, is not my portion thing. So it has been an holistic thing that government is battling with is therefore to ensure that people are aware at least they do the normal things as it way it is. But people are still grappling with the reality of if COVID-19 is real, and those are the, those are the challenges on ground. Uh, has there been an official reaction from the uh, medical bodies there, like the NMA and NAD, to this development? The official reaction of the NMA and NAD is that they are calling, because uh, according to what I spoke to one of, with one of the doctors, they are planning to down tools in a sense. You know, they just, they just came back from uh, warning strike. But the man did say that if they get down, to, that means the number two will be on the increase. But there were, there were provisions given to the state government and federal government to provide PPE for them. And they are, they are also willing to continue their work. 
but they are calling on government to ensure that at least if they are, if they are, if they are sick, there won't be anybody to attend to the sick person. So that they should take their request of getting more PPEs at least as a priority if they still want to win the war against uh, this pandemic. All right, uh, Kunle Banjoko, thank you very much for giving us an update on the situation in Enugu. Thank you very much.